West Virginia, there's a teacher shortage uh, of special education students around the world. And, and so uh, we're particularly sensitive to that and, and are addressing those needs for our state department. So we try to do that as well as we can. Um, most of our students uh, were born and live in West Virginia and plan to stay there, so multi-generational uh, teachers who are familiar with their communities and their context. Again, we have a small faculty. One is missing here. She usually comes to the TED, but uh, he's not here today. So there's three faculty, a couple of adjuncts, and that's our, that's our group. And about 75 students in the program across from the beginning to the end. A little bit about our geography. The room's large in terms of online and connectivity. We have some stories to tell about that. <laughs> and a rural mountainous state, unlike Kentucky, which is largely flat. No luck um, that in West Virginia. Uh, teachers, like all teachers everywhere, limited time and limited resources. So connectivity in those classrooms that we work in, really sketchy in some, in some places and not in others. Uh, sometimes we hear stories from our teachers that they will actually stay in their classroom hours and hours after the, the school is dismissed because that's the only place that they can get um, any kind of access to the internet. So lots of technology concerns, and we'll talk about that, that if that's one of the things you're interested in. Um, I'm going to go back one more time. Oh, yeah, some of the things that brought us to, um, to be working, wanting to work online, some of the issues, again, um, candidates' engagement. We have uh, discussions, and those can become just kind of routine. I'm just typing a reply because I have to. So we're, we wanted to create more of an online uh, community of practice, right? Um, again tickling that reflection on practice. Are they just mm -hmm. doing these empty mm -hmm. activities because they're required? And then instructability. This, this was a big one for Julie and I. We'll talk more specifically about that. They were out there. They were submitting their lesson plans to us. And we would sit together and, and say, well, how do we know what they're really doing? Mm -hmm. right, we couldn't see anything at the start of this program. There was no way of us getting any information about what actually they were doing when this program started in 2005. So, I'm going to give you just a little quick update on the research. Many of you are already really aware the Teaching Channel has done a lot of really nice white papers about practice right now and online and specifically about this topic, about clinical practice and um, the new technologies. So um, we have a couple of those hyperlinked and if you want those websites we'll give them to you but I'm going to give you the cliff notes right now of those. Um, a lot of the nice stuff, 2015, uh, video allows teachers to go back and watch their interactions with students over and over again. Right? They can just look at that video and see what they did, and it's truth-telling right? about what they're doing. Um, good research that says video can help teachers notice dimensions of the teaching that they didn't see or understand before. So it really starts, hey, I thought I did that pretty well, but when I looked at the video, we'll, we'll have some comments from mm -hmm. our actual teachers <laughs> that reflected on it with us. It was pretty fun. So again, we'll go through this next slide. And um, good, good indications right now, and, and some of this research is really largely anecdotal, but it's coming in pretty strong, and some of it's uh, got some research based. Um, when teachers record and watch their own instruction, that's, that's evidence, mm -hmm. right? They, they've captured it it's right there, and we're starting to look at video as, as evidence, mm -hmm. right, which is a new dimension. Um, mm -hmm. Watching their own practice allows teachers to analyze their approaches to working with kids in a much more concrete way. That visual, I can see it, right? Remember, again, they're looking at, hey, this is what the student did, rather than trying to recall it after a busy, busy day or week. Uh, and, and from uh, studies, again, reflecting <coughs> on videos of teaching, help teachers learn to diagnose student thinking more effectively and interpret the impact so they can really focus in and target and look at what those students actually produced, what were those products that the students were producing, and what's the evidence that, that what I did made any and again, that's the teaching channel white, white paper. Uh, again, some new research. Uh, specifically, uh, some of this research is coming out of math educators and, and the uh, video clubs that they're using. And, and again, learning to notice research. Right? If you've looked at any of that, some of it has. Framing up the reflection, framing up the looking at it, and noticing that they're they have student-centered practices if they're systematically analyzing their teacher practices. 
really, again, moving the sh shifting over to what the students are doing. What do you see? What are you noticing the students doing here? What's your evidence that the students are actually engaged? Our students are are learning. <clears throat> uh, this has been an interesting piece, and and that is this aversion to being videotaped. Right? That is pretty risky when you're capturing your teaching. Uh, and so for the new generation, they seem a little bit more open to it and less scared. <laughs> However, you have, to, you have to care for the, the situation, the environment that you set up around that. Right? So we want to cre create a safe environment that's low risk or no risk. We're not going in there and uh, hyper-criticizing or hyper-judging. Uh, getting them really uh, involved in peer uh, conversations, <clears throat> talking about what they're seeing. What are you noticing? What are you seeing? What are you observing? And try to keep that um, judging or interpreting really turned down in this, in this first wave of what we're trying to do. And it's based around the research and the, the writings around communities of practice. How are we developing those as teachers? How are we becoming professionals and talking about what we're doing and how it's affecting our students? And using respectful communities of practice, right? So that, that changes your role a little bit, right? From, being a judger and an evaluator, at least at the outset, to really try to invite and talk and get everybody involved in that conversation. So this is Adam. I just realized that I didn't say that. Okay. So, so um, we hunted down the, uh, the actual CEO of Athena to talk a little bit about what his inspiration was for this. <laughs> Hopefully he'll fire up and skip the ad five seconds. And so Adam's going to talk here about what reflection is and what the power of Athena is. What role does observation and feedback play in a teacher's professional development? So professional development looks different by context. Uh, it could look different literally from district to district or school of education to school of education. But I think fundamentally we know and would agree that teachers need to become or should become self-reflective practitioners. And uh, also, that they should be constantly improving and increasing their effectiveness. Uh, personally, I believe that a video-based observation and feedback system can really help along both of those lines because it can provide the targeted support to help teachers continually improve, but it also gives them the tool set to really step outside themselves and analyze their own teaching and really understand their own strengths and opportunities for improvement. Uh, and so, you know, that belief is reflected, I think, across a lot of different uh, standards and professional organizations, lists of best practices, but even from a policy perspective, kind of locking in this idea that teachers should be able to watch themselves and analyze their own teaching. That's really a, a movement that we've seen come from uh, a majority of states at this point. So, so now you really want to know about Athena and what, um, what that is. We wanted to give you a little, maybe, maybe this will sound familiar to you, a little brief history very quickly of what we've been through trying to get to Athena. So we, we started with the CDs being mailed in from afar, and probably, you probably know, that kind of trying to get them just because we really wanted to know more just as an evaluation. So that's where we started. And then we added in the flip camera and some, some different lessons that they sent with multiple lessons. Go ahead, I spent a lot of time on this. We started thinking, though, we began to think really about what are they doing in those uh, video assignments that we're doing, and we embedded an action research project. Um, so they were doing a focused strategy instruction rather than just sending us three arbitrary lessons that they could clip and model. Um, and we felt that that was really more helpful. And we went to a tool called Avirus that we thought was going to be the dream for our students. Um, had a lot of trouble with uh, sending videos. Uh, we became tech support, and that was that was really bad because I, uh, usually something falls apart when I'm doing tech, and uh, we'll talk about that with that thing because that has been what's been really valuable for us their support. Uh, but anyway, so we went through that, and it was this expensive, was very expensive for the kids, and then we landed on YouTube, which we ran into all sorts of uh, concerns about privacy, particularly around uh, school systems. Although we have been very fortunate, I heard just the end of the last session. Uh, talking about permissions and well, so the challenges um, well, just the segue there. The yeah the <laughs> uploading and um, sharing of the videos we had uh, a lot of issues with that because of internet connectivity. We have not 
I used to sit on the phone with our candidates for hours, like, and they'd be like, "It's taken like eight hours." They email us video. that they've been sitting there in yeah. their in their in their oh. school classroom yes. for eight hours. Yeah. And so, so when we talked um, with uh, Daniel, our contact person, we first started, we we were very skeptical. We were absolutely sure this could not possibly work that well. I mean, we were, most school was like, "No, this not going to work." We've had very very few problems, and usually it's when they're it's their internet. It's, it's really weak wherever they are. It has nothing to do with the platform. Somehow there's some super compressor. I don't, I don't understand the new technology, but the kids um, get very few questions about that. It may take a little longer, but not anything relative to the, what we thought it would be. On the previous slide, you had um, having access to the videos for NK and K. Yes. So are you using your Advena information for K? Not yet. Okay, because okay, that was interesting. It's our me. pilot year. That was my other thing. We have some real ideas about that. So. That was my and other plan. question when you brought that up in terms of the, you know, kind of the confidentiality of that is that you sign it for the purposes of either ed well, for in our case, is for for NTPA, but then if you, that doesn't give us the legal right then to share those videos with accrediting agencies or others. <coughs> so I'm just curious about that because right. it it seems like it would be a great fit for creating evidence for those mm -hmm. CAVE visits. But then we don't have the right to show those, right? You Unless that's in the, the and then I know you're saying like that's got to be in the permission form, but I, I understand that. But it's like that's there are just probably, a whole nother can of worms. And there are probably states, and there are states ahead of us on those. Yeah. Um, so there's a very simple um, informational part of this page which shows how the documents, uh, the teachers, I'm supposed to get it, but the teachers record on anything. Yeah. They can use anything. Lots, lots use their phones, just mm -hmm. like you described. Mm -hmm. So phones, iPads, that was one thing we had before, we would have to say, make sure you get a camera, make sure you put on the lowest resolution setting so it'll compress the video, we don't have to say those things anymore. So that's been really um, Using nice. any video camera, it really is, anything mm -hmm. works. Yeah, so they no buying all these expensive cameras. Mm -hmm. And then when they share, they can, um, they can download an app which automatically, they can plug in 15 minutes or 10 minutes and they put, they put it there. If, Does it time stamp it too? It, yeah, uh -huh. it pops it right in and then it pops right into it. So, so it goes wow. straight to, so they don't have to go to their computer. Well, I guess but if you're the coach, it, it's sent to you. So, so from their phone they do what? Everything. They log into Athena. Mm -hmm. So they just log in. They log in to yes. your account. It uploads it if you have the app. They have, yeah, they have the app that they set up. Which is easy to download or easy to set up. And then <laughs> it just sends it to it. Where do they put it? No, I'd be getting that. Um, where do they place it? Oh, we're going we're gonna to show that. Okay. Okay. It'd be easier to show it. <laughs> That's what I was going to show. Yeah, I know. It's hard yeah, to visualize. It's hard to visualize. Hard to visualize. We've, we've had a little trouble with Mac users. So we have an IT guy in our department okay. who I invited him to a group so that he could see how Athena works so that and, and download the video tool and upload some videos so he could see what problems the students might have so he could problem mm -hmm. solve. We've had a couple of Mac use the same thing, but they've been able to it, and tangle with it's it. It's typically been the same problem. So it wasn't like there were multiple things. We just send them the solution and then boom. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk more about this. <coughs> What's great about Athena is once they find out that there's a problem pattern, they create a search a searchable fix so the students can just Type in. I got back. They okay. built up. Okay. So what we have done is we our school then purchases that for them. Uh, we were originally thinking before our school then agreed to do that that we would just say we're not going to do textbooks. We're going to do this membership cost um, for the videos because we're really invested in the. That's for each teacher candidate. That's for each teacher candidate. Yeah, it's unlimited videos. Um, so they can um, yes. An unlimited Hello. number of people who can come in and watch. It. Yes. So we'll talk about that in a minute. It's a different yeah. setup than a traditional setup. So they purchase their account, they log in, you send them a, a link and they, um, they come in and they log in and create their account. So then, um, then groups can be created around, we create them around our classes. So we have groups around our, our classes. class types. Um, they, could, they could be, uh, if we click in this, that's 6390. So this is our final practicum in our graduate program. And it's a shared course between Julie and myself. There she is. So there we yeah, are. There I am. There's our group. There you are. This is our group. So there's our picture. You can see our members. There's social media. Mm -hmm. See the community of practice already mm -hmm. setting up right now, right when they come in. Feels spread a little bit. And then so you can you can just see automatically 
the videos, um, and this, the videos can be set up in particular um, areas called explorations, but right now we're just going to show you and we'll clip to show you what the tool looks like. So if you'll go to Savannah a second, so you can just see it all. It's not, it's very visual and it's very just a clickable moment. Really easy. So this one our student, um, student teacher this semester who's working in her own classroom, which is often the case in West Virginia, they're hired on permit. Uh, she happens to have a background in elementary education. That's not always the case with ours. We have many who come from other fields who have no background in teaching, all in the same classes. So we're trying to help them at their different levels. That was another challenge we were facing when we first mm -hmm. started. And um, these, the students type in, they describe what's going on in the classroom. They just type it in, what is this? Mm -hmm. So she did that. Yeah. So, so in the tool, you have this area, that's the information. You, you'll be able to put in information, we'll show you that in a minute. Um, but, but these little lines are comments that have been made in the video. And what we love about Athena is the student will go along and um, we're going to have their peer groups. Yes, and they'll make a comment. So Elena's made a comment about the video. If you'll uh, I'll give a reply, and then Savannah can reply to her. So it's just like a message, right? Or we can, we can <coughs> reply to her. And Glenn, if you'll go up and click on that line in the video yeah, so yeah. I can see that. You can get it. Go to the side, far side. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just all here. Yeah. Here we go. Great. So we're going to start. So if you'll just click on the, um, okay. so that first blue mm -hmm. line. First blue line. So it has, so you, the students can make, ask a question, make a suggestion, a strength, or a note, and they're all color coded. So when they look at their video and they see that line, they know what? how many strengths have been noted, they know how many questions have been asked. And so if you click on the, the line where someone made a comment, it goes right to that spot in the video. So that's another thing we love about it. That they, so they, I go in and I click and I say, I wonder what, what was commented on, and it, it goes right to that spot in the video. So they don't have to search through the video wow. to see and what someone's talking about. See the, the numbers that are like 1061? I think the orange is questions. So yep. if, mm -hmm. I, if I ask my student a question on a video, then I can just go back and see if they've responded to my question. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't ask any questions in the video, then there's zero there for the orange, and I can just skip over that. I don't have to check each video to see. So yeah, we're, so that has been a really valuable tool. What we found last night, we were going through the, uh, the statistics, we'll just show the minute, is our students tend to do a lot of strengths. They want to tell every each other what helped, I don't know if you're finding the same thing, they're, they're hesitant to uh, point out anything or comment on anything that might be appear. So we have to frame up their com the, the question, what we'd like them to do. Their That's our so peers. We have to say, uh, please include. We want to be. Or the one, or the one thing that I'm thinking, how it would be really great to use that as the strength with the thumbs up. If you were going, like we also use the, the Danielson framework. So the idea would be, okay, so you've got a six minute. Everybody put in a six minute video clip, and within that, the only we're only going to look at like domain three things. So every time you see a piece that would constitute evidence, let's give the thumbs up, and you identify what it is or not. Then that would be perfect because then it's not overwhelming of like so what is the evidence how do I know it's evidence what constitutes like that whole thing that our candidates go through that would be perfect and because today's do domain do one that. and here's domain two day and yeah. how perfect would that be because you can they do it could, at the end. that's perfect you like can target it show her the, oh my gosh let's show her the level indicators Go sorry ahead. that's like so much more yeah that was really good and the kids loved it you're like and right 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 so you have the comment thing. That's and great. You can add what's called leveled indicators in Athena, oh. and it's based on different frameworks. So there's there's choices you can pick, and you can add your own. Add I think Daniels is in there. Yeah. So, yeah. so in 24, so, you added the. Hmm. You can show them the exploration even if they haven't commented yet. <laughs> yeah. So I said. So that up everything's and based. I'll go back just a second. Oh, with one. Everything is set up in what was called explorations. We I would call modules. So. Um, everything's around a certain module. So that's the exploration name. So, so learning the vocabulary of Athena, um, you kind of have to know. So activity, so assignment, like things you can mm -hmm. set up for the students to do that are specific and targeted. Right. So, so in the exploration, as a, um, a new member, you can create, why don't we hit just create new? We'll go in and show the level of indication. Okay. 
started that. Uh, and again, you see these big buttons. It's really easy to use. It's very user friendly. Like this is how you do it. You follow this little bouncing ball here. So you just make up a, a, a quick title, put in a date. And just, I guess put in letters. <laughs> <laughs> like I started a test. These are all the ones we have working. Oh, are you, why don't you open up? No, that's not. That's not what it. That's yeah. not it. That's just a, <laughs> something from this saying from another thing. Um, so you can just you create your title and that kind of thing, and it guides you through with drop-down menus the things you might want to add. For example, if you would like to um, your students to add a lesson plan in here mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. respond to reflection questions, you can add that into the directions, and you go through this process mm -hmm. to do it. I wouldn't spend a lot of time. Just yeah, okay, that's yeah, too yeah. long. Um, yeah. Just go on. Well, let's get to the level of indicators. Right. You want me to do it? Okay. Go, ahead. Last go ahead. Okay. I'll switch it. <laughs> you can talk a lot. Yeah. All right. So, so do you all have to have a membership as well? No. Nope. It's purely driven on student. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 So, so the students fun. create their accounts. The billing is per student. I'm the administrator of the platform, but I, they don't, there's no extra they don't charge you. No, it is absolutely just student license, per student license. So when you're making your exploration, you, you give examples of what you want to see. So if they give you some sample directions that you can add in for uh, your examples uh, of what you want in your directions. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can add a component for feedback to peers. So if you want to, um, like you were saying, you, you want, want to, to do some feedback around specific Mm -hmm. models of practice. You can add that here as well. Hmm. And, and students can choose, I only want to share it with me. They can set up their own groups. Or when, it, yeah. when, when you set up a group for your class and Lisa only wants to share it with me, I'm her supervisor. She doesn't want her peers to see it. Or I'm fine with everybody and you can tell them I want everybody to be able to see it. Or I only want to see it. And mm -hmm. one of the applications we use in our face-to-face -face class is uh, because we teach a, a class that's the final class in instructional design across content areas and levels. So we have elementary ed, we have social studies ed, we have math ed, science. We create groups inside our groups so that mm -hmm. the elementary students can have a group of three and they just share their, their elementary education teachings with their other elementary ed peers. Social studies, so it's very focused and they're looking at specific things inside their content that, that they are working on. So really, really nice and rich in that. that mm -hmm. regard. And in the special ed and the secondary kind of some things, yes. so their peer groups are around those that are teaching in elementary settings, maybe uh, with similar circumstances, mostly kids with behavior disorders. Mm -hmm. That's we've been able to do that some as well. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very successful. I think that part in terms of communities of practice and really uh, specific feedback that's helpful to them, based on their comments back to us. And one of the neat things that that I'm doing this semester is I have early intervention interns mm -hmm. and I have them read a story to a three-year-old. They're also in a literacy class, so I invited that professor to join our group mm -hmm. and the students up, they have to read a book in a specific way for that, as a project for that class. So they upload it to our group so I can see, are you doing something different for Dr. Hilden than you're doing when you're supposed to be doing it for me too? And we can comment on one another. And, and just to get back to our gen ed, um, we have some additional um, presses from Kate to add uh, additional observing teacher, uh, early teachers in the 75 hour clinical and 30 hour mm -hmm. clinical in our early clinicals rather than just student teaching. Right. So we've been able to provide them access if they can't get out there because they're teaching a class when their student is working in their 75 or 30 hour right. clinical. Now our students can share a video with them so they can actually see some form of teaching in the, in the early clinicals. So that's given dimensional mm -hmm. uh, strength to our program. And now our general ed faculty are, with just us with the online program, now our general ed faculty are able to get in this and, and benefit by it. That's been nice. And the last piece we didn't get to, and I'll just quickly summarize, it's student comments, and it's echoing the research. It's almost one-to-one -one correspondence. They're, saying, they're appreciating the fact that their peers are able to give them feedback. They're appreciating the fact that they're able to see their own practice and, and improve on it. So it really, it, it's a very tightly related uh, relationship with the research we're seeing coming out is our students' response to what it's been like for them to be in this platform 
and the, and the benefits. Um, Athena also has an extensive library of videos, so some of our students, without being prompted, are going over into the Athena library and looking at examples of exemplary practice and telling us that they're hitting on the library and seeing some really great videos. So there's all kinds of other depths to this that Julie and I really haven't yeah. explored yet because it is our pilot year. We're really just very mm. enthusiastic and excited about right. the possibility. So do the next steps, Julie. Where we're okay. going to add up. We have one more thing that this is where we're headed. Um, that's our email. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So this is where we are. You know? mm -hmm. We've got a reading graduate program uh, faculty colleague, and she just extended it to one reading course. She's running down the hallway saying that she loves Athena and these kids really want to expand her practice. Uh, we're trying to recruit our undergraduate faculty by using it in the action research and in our undergraduate classes, and that's been successful. We have them in now commenting on video. So, yeah. And our focus is really, we didn't get to talk about it too much today, but on coaching and peer feedback. Mm -hmm. We are really looking into the value about how we can improve that um, for students and um, across the programs and doing some research around that. So we feel like it's going to be great to do that. So, so we've gone from just having to submit videos where there was no comment and we were just boyers just looking at it to this really dynamic, rich communities of practice, uh, possibilities for um, evaluation in CEC, possibilities for really rich assessment based on what we see them doing and their own assessment of their own practice. So, yeah, we're excited about it. I know, yeah, I, I know, I feel like we you know, went around. So if you have questions or things that you need, um, yeah, I'm going to put that up. Last if night, copy we, that down. we yes. will send you our um, yeah. PowerPoint. Because there was a, a can, can you make that there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I've been out of slideshow mode. Um, Is there any mechanism for um, archiving? Yeah, or going back in and being able to access other, not necessarily the videos because of the permissions and so on, but I'm just wondering, like, the documents that candidates may have submitted up there? We are you know, literally in our I'm first just, semester, so I'm going to Because I'm just wondering how that then plays out also, I mean, like, your longitudinal data, because I saw something up there that said stats, and like that, show that in a minute. I know, but that, which is, you know, for your reviews, which is great, and then program redesign, those kinds of things. Um, so at the end of that time frame, what happens to all of that data and that material? So if paper companies say like, so where is it? And you're like, well, <laughs> you can we archive your I'm just wondering. You can okay. archive your in, in the directions of the exploration. The first thing it says, do you want to have the ability to archive? And then what, what does that then? But, look but I also like? want to say that oh, Edwin is really clear oh. that this is proprietary for them. So they those things are theirs, right? Um, so I'm not sure they're sitting, there, or they wouldn't be sitting anywhere else. So um, to the extent that some document is ex exportable that we can um, yeah. have a copy of it, like like in, uh, like the level indicators, because it's mm -hmm. an Excel sheet, um, but not the videos. videos yeah, are, no, I wasn't. Th I was just thinking things. about. Kind I think of the, the documents though. Pieces of evidence. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because they're set up in Excel sheets. So okay. Are you are you all using any of the? We features around the explorations and the stats. We are using the stats piece, our mm -hmm. um, uh, assessment guide, because um, we're getting ready for CAPE in 2018, I think. Mm -hmm. So um, he's been working with Daniel um, okay. on what kind of stats can you collect. And the, the okay. stats are mm -hmm. kind of limited, so yes, you are. can look at uh, how many videos has a group uploaded. Right. Um, what yeah. was the kind right. of replies right. I made? Were they uh, strength? Were they right. um, questions? Okay, I see that. While you're doing just a quick question, um, is the audio, have you had any issues with the audio? The videos what? are fabulously they are in high the, quality. The one from the phones and iPads, and the, video, the audio has been literally okay. no problems, that's no matter right. where right. they okay. are. Now, occasional gym well, that's from a, a PE teacher, that gets a little echoey, but the, the quality of the video has been absolutely Mm. And no matter where they are, so uniformly, really easy to watch, hear so them, hear the sounds. your phone mm -hmm. in the classroom. Yes. They need a tripod or... Nope. They tell stories that sometimes happens. <laughs> they'll, they'll prop it up on something. <laughs> and it'll fall. So they got to really kind of take care of it, so they'll prop it up over here. You know, line themselves up, it'll slide. You know, then they have a little bit of a problem, but they fuss around enough about where it sits. Any, any other questions before we... Yeah. 
we do tell Daniel that we are cheerleaders. We confess that. And then, really, and then you gotta really ask him, and then you need to ask him on the back end to like cut you deal on the if you're doing PR work for him, what do you get out of that? For everyone that you got, free, uh, yeah, free, uh, exactly yeah. for every one that for every other institution that you recruit along, you should get something for that, ladies. Uh, actually, we're just we're just Google them, just Google yeah. and Dina, yeah. and Thank they you have much. so many really very nice put together uh, pieces to, to give you some information, mm -hmm. and they are. Incredibly responsive. If, if you hit the support or like, hit that email and, and send them a message, they'll get right back to you. Yeah, we're excited to share. We don't we don't want to pay because we love, we've been on this journey. Yeah. We're so excited <laughs> to find great. something. So we hope that it's helpful. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much.